a cool breeze. Right now I'm in the Dick's Creek Gap. Uh, I'm about pretty near Hiawassee, Georgia. Uh, I'm about 67 and a half miles uh, from Springer Mountain, the southern terminus of the Appalachian Trail. I'm at the trailhead here at Dick's Creek Gap. I'm uh, about to start a two week hike. Uh, we're going to go north up through the Smoky Mountains from Dick's Creek Gap. Uh, just figured uh, I'm waiting on a buddy of mine. He's not quite here yet, so I figured I'd do a real quick gear video to show you kind of what I'm carrying uh, on this two week hike. So uh, here we go. I'll show it to you. Okay, here we go. Here's my gear that I'm going to be carrying for the next two weeks. Uh, this is my Osprey Exus 58 backpack. Uh, I've modified it, uh, taken the top off. I've uh, cut some of the straps off because I just found I just really didn't wasn't using them and didn't need them. Uh, got it down to a, a little under 39 ounces uh, with just a backpack. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, probably could go a little bit lighter, but I like that it does have a frame and that it vents my back while I'm walking. So, uh, and, it, and it is capable of carrying a little bit heavier load if, I, if it needed to. Uh, I've got my Cuban fiber custom made pack liner. Uh, this will be the first trip out for it, so we're going to see how that works out. Uh, knocked over and out south of my uh, pack liner off. And uh, going down to this end, I've got clothing. Uh, I'm going to try something a little different. Usually I take, uh, you know, the short socks with me. Uh, this time I'm going to take. Uh, just two pairs of those socks, but I'm also going to take an extra pair of those uh, just nylon kind of like liner socks right here. They, um, you know, last time my feet got wet and stayed wet and the socks were hard to dry, so I figured this might be a little bit better option if it starts getting wet. I don't know, I'm going to try it out see how it works out. I've got uh, possum down gloves uh, that are new to this trip. I've got a uh, Cuban fiber, if you can see it under there, the Cuban fiber, uh, I believe it's the medium. Uh, roll top bag uh, for my clothing and then uh, I've got a fleece cap for the nights and my Patagonia Capilene 3 uh, top and bottom. Uh, I've got a little silk uh, eyeglass bag for my eyeglasses. Uh, normally I put those inside the fleece cap just to help keep them protected when I'm not using them uh, and I try to use care with them obviously. Uh, up above that, I've got my uh, waterproof, breathable Cuban fiber jacket. I uh, just got it. I uh, weighed in at about 5.6 ounces, I believe, with the uh, pit zips. I'm uh, going to try that out this trip, uh, see how that works out. And here's the uh, Cuban fiber gloves. I'm uh, going to use those for uh, if, you know, if it gets kind of buggy or if, uh, or if it rains. I use those as over mitts. And then my uh, Montbell wind pants. Uh, can't beat those things. They're super lightweight. They're like two and a half ounces, I think, roughly. And, uh, you know, good pants. I've got a bug net just in case. It is September on the trail. I don't really anticipate a lot of bugs, but just in case. Uh, <clears throat> next to that, new for this trip is my uh, another medium Cuban fiber stuff sack roll top bag. With uh, This one has the fleece liner. I'm going to try to use it as a pillow. Uh, what I'm going to do is, is uh, this is my sleeping bag. It is a hammock gear, 20 degree burrow. Um, you know, it's just pretty much a standard burrow that you order offline. This one is actually the long, because um, I'm six foot one. And I just figured it, it would work a little better for me. The um, what I'll do is, is uh, I'll take this. I'll take my clothing bag. I'll, I'll take my sleeping bag out. And I'm going to reverse the bag and and push it over my uh, my clothing bag and see if I can use it a pillow, as a pillow and see how that works out. I don't know, never tried it before, but be first for this trip, but I'll let you know how that goes. Uh, next is my uh, Big Agnes tent. It's a uh, Fly Creek Ultralight 2. It's a two person. Even though I'll uh, be solo on this trip, I just I like the extra room to put, a, it's kind of a small two person. Uh, it's definitely, un, it would you'd have to be a tight fit uh, to put two people uh, in that tent, you definitely have to have a relationship. <laughs> but uh, the um, I take I took all the stuff sacks out. Uh, the only stuff sack that's left is the uh, tent stake bag, and uh, I went with a Cuban fiber tent stake bag to save a little weight. I also dropped down. I believe it's 11 stakes that that tent takes. I dropped down to nine. Uh, I was in a pretty bad storm uh, here last time I was here. It was a uh, 
during that tornado and my tent worked out great. Uh, it held, and I didn't have any issues with it. Uh, looking at going to a tarp to save some weight, but I uh, just haven't done it yet. So, uh, but, you know, worked out well last time, so we'll see how it goes this time. The, uh, the two stakes that I omitted are for the front. I, what I do is, is uh, at the front of the fly, I just uh, use the uh, front of the fly the two stakes that are actually on the front of the fly and run the uh, guy lines out to those. So that's where I omit the two stakes at. But uh, next to that is my umbrella. So again, first ever for me to take an umbrella. But uh, just figured for comfort, uh, for rain protection, uh, just for ease of hiking and just to be able to keep going on a trail, I figured it was worth the, uh, I believe this one weighed in at like seven and a half ounces. So <clears throat> not too bad. Next to that's my ditty bag and I'll, uh, <coughs> I'll uh, make a separate video on the ditty bag later, but uh, that's my Cuban fiber ditty bag. The uh, next to that will be the uh, mattress pad. That is the Thermarest Neo Air X Lite, uh, brand new again, first out for this trip. So we'll see how it works. I apologize for the vehicle traffic. I am actually at the Gap at Hiawassee at the trailhead, waiting on my buddy. So you may hear some traffic from here from time to time. <coughs> above that I do have my iPhone with me and a stick pick for filming later I've got my trusty bandana toothbrush Gatorade bottle with Gatorade starting out my uh, snow peak 600 cup <coughs> excuse me along with the uh, Soto stove uh, I am carrying my canister stove this time uh, just for ease of use my homemade uh, water filter. It's pretty much made from a Katahdin Pro Hiker Pro with a, with a Sea to Summit Sill Ultra Sill mount on back. But <coughs> excuse me, I'm getting a little cough here. Uh, also next to that you can see my toilet bag with my titanium trowel and uh, toilet paper. Uh, you can see my food bag. This is food for the next five days. Uh, I, you know, I've made a video on that. If you want to check out my the way the way I uh, do food bagging, uh, you can check out that video on my YouTube account. And my rock bag, my Cuban fiber rock bag, and my uh, bag cozy. Since I uh, Ziploc bag cook, I uh, use a bag cozy instead of a pot cozy. But uh, that looks like that's pretty much it. Along with my hiking poles, my black diamond uh, carbon fiber hiking poles there. That's pretty much all my gear. If you have any questions, uh, you know, later, just comment. And I'll try to answer them the best I can. Thanks.